Hey guys, so as you guys know, what I've been doing is I've been creating images with Midjourney and uploading them to Adobe Stock and other websites. This Adobe Stock is not even a demo account, it's literally just an account I created for tutorial purposes in the course. But I kind of wanted to share a little update that I've noticed with the new tagging tool. So if you're familiar, we use the Stock Photo Scanner Tagger. And basically what this tool is, is that you take a screenshot of an image. So let's just say this image of this shark, right? And let's say this is the image in full definition that I would upload normally to uh, Adobe Stock. What I would do is I would open up this tool, click the choose file button and select the actual image. So you can see here, I already have an image that I selected previously, but the way this works is literally just go take a screenshot of an image like this. Like I said, click choose file, drag and drop the file that I want to choose, or rather choose it in where, whatever folder, whatever location it's located at, hit analyze image. But there's something slightly different here. And what's different is you could see the token count. The token count is 8,622. Now, if you're familiar with the other tool, or not the other tool, the exact same tool, but just the older version, it was sitting at like 360 tokens, 400, somewhere around there, depending on what size you uploaded. But for me, that was about the size of tokens. Now, it's at 8,000, uh, 8,000, 7,000, 9,000 even sometimes. But these tokens are actually cheaper now. So there's different kinds of models that are used and things like that. So I tested it and I uploaded, I think I tested it with a hundred images. Um, and I basically was testing this page by page, right? And I had every single image tagged on the page of Adobe Stock. If you're familiar, when you upload your images to your uh, total and I'll just, you know, you can see the tags here. Basically what this tool does is it creates tags for you based on the image just scans the image. You don't have to type in any tags. You don't have to think of any keywords. It will take care of all of that for you. So I'll just hit copy here. But as an example, right, when you hit upload files, you upload, let's just say a hundred photos. It's a hundred per page roughly, right? Um, I went through all of them and it cost me about 14 cents, which is actually pretty much like, I don't know, I don't want to say a 10th, but somewhere close to that of what it used to cost. So this new update is actually pretty epic. I, fi I figured I wanted to kind of show it and kind of show you guys how it works. But obviously, you need an API key from OpenAI. So I made a video about this before, um, and you guys can watch my past video on this. This is obviously not the account that I use on a daily basis. I have multiple accounts, one including a demo account where I'll probably upload a lot of the images that you see here. Um, but essentially, the way this would work is very simple. I take a screenshot, right? of the actual image. Now, I usually wouldn't take the screenshot here. I would take the screenshot right in my Adobe um, account, right? So I definitely wouldn't take it here. But this is just, I'm just simply showing you the images here. I have a process on how I kind of go through with these images. I have all these images created through an automation tool. I have them upscaled through an automation tool again, download them and then have them upscaled again through another tool. And then I take them and then I upload them. And then when they're uploaded, they're tagged just like this. And what this does for me is this saves me a tremendous amount of effort, very, very tremendous amount of effort, uh, really holds back a lot of the work that I have to do, but it produces all these different keywords for me that not only are very, very accurate, but a lot of these keywords I would have never thought of. So keywords like ceremonial, accessory, luxurious, regal, ornate, antique, beauty, uh, fashion, right? Imperial. These are words that I would not have think of or would have thought of rather. I might be thinking of the obvious like king, queen, crown. But there's a lot of different keywords that I wouldn't think of, right? So I would copy keywords like this. And then this would be right into the account and I would find the image and just paste the keywords. And then based on the keywords, I would set up the title tool to set up all the titles for me. All of these things that I'm talking about I've shown in videos before, so this is nothing new. However, what is new, like I said, is this tool had recently received an update, I think like maybe four or five days ago, where if you're, if obviously if you're seeing like three, four, five hundred tokens per, per scan, um, then you're using the older one. You could just literally 
uh, uninstall it, reinstall it, um, and then, you know, log in with the same email. So, you know, when you try to log in, when you click, you know, start app, you'll either have the option to pay for it or log in. Obviously, if you already have an account, you just click log in, use the same email and you're in and uh, you'll use the newer version. But this is just like a really, really nice feature to have. And what it does for me right now is that it decreases the price. So now I could do even more and I'm motivated to do even more. Honestly, the only thing holding me back at this point is my account limitations. So on one account, I have a maximum that I could upload is, or not upload, but I could have a maximum in review at one time is 5,001 images. Another account, I have 5,001 images and another account, I have 501 images. Um, so those three accounts right now are the bulk of what I'm working on, but they're slowing down because my production of the images is faster than the amount of time that they could be reviewed in. You know, it's just part of the business. So what I'm doing is I'm incorporating like, you know, like I told you guys, whenever I'm kind of clogged up and I'm waiting for things to be reviewed, I just go to a different website, upload there, work on my print on demand, work on my websites, my businesses on other, you know, circumstances. And that's what I'm pretty much doing. So this is a little update. I know this is, you know, I don't make these videos too often now. I've been super, super busy working on this kind of stuff. Uh, but I figured I'd put it out there. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. But yeah, this is what I'm up to. If you guys have questions about what I'm currently doing, and I am doing a lot of different work behind the scenes with this stock photography type stuff, leave, let me know in the comments. I truly think that this is a very good opportunity, probably the easiest business to date where I really don't have to do any kind of manual labor and I really don't have to break a sweat thinking about anything and I could just have a bunch of images created and making me money over time. Obviously, it's not one of those get rich quick things. There's a lot to it. It's not as simple as just like click one button, all of a sudden you make money. It's not like that. There's a whole defined process to it. But I, I think I've honed in my process, my my um, system, I guess you can say, and I've shared it here with you guys through the course, through these videos. You know, I've shared it pretty well to where you guys can literally just watch some of my videos, have the whole process for yourself, and literally replicate the exact same thing. And it's really not difficult. You know, I know a lot of people who watch my Redbubble videos, T Public videos. You know, you look at the commissions you get there, and I'm not complaining, but you can get commissions as low as 25 cents. You know, two dollars, a dollar, 25 cents. You look at T Public, you know, on a on a apprentice or excuse me, on an artisan account, making two to four dollars. So you know, at the end of the day, those are designs that you have to sit there and manually create, which is not a problem. But with these type of images, I don't have to sit here and manually do anything. I have automation tools that literally create the images for me, automation tools that upscale, automation tools that tag, automation tools that title, and I literally have to do nothing. It's just a money game. So. It's a matter of how much do the tools cost per month, how much can they do, and that's really pretty much it. The goal for me is to be able to produce as many images as possible. I'm, my goal is to you know spend over like two, three, four, five thousand a month spending on creating these images because I do want to use them as a tax deduction. The beautiful thing about this is every dollar that I spend in this business, it's a tax deduction. So I'm paying for if I pay for software. Guess what? That's a tax deduction. But I'm I'm deducting my taxes on the amount that I'm spending for that software this year. But that image is going to make me money for years to come, which is a very beautiful thing. And I'm very appreciative of that. And I'm very thankful for that. So, you know, this is this business is just like any other business, you know, it's just kind of pushing and grinding through it. You know, it's but but to be honest, really, really like this AI and the and the and the automation tools have really changed the way I do this. And honestly, it opens up my eyes to how much time freedom people can have. But my goal is in time freedom right now. My goal is to really max this thing out and do a lot. That's why I'm not making as many videos as I would normally. But you know, I'm just trying my best to do as much as I can. So if you guys have questions, let me know. Put them in the comments down below. I might address some of them. Um, I'll hope to address as much as I can. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. If you have questions, once again, let me know. I'll leave a link in the description to the tool if you want to access it. If you're already a customer, if you already use this tool, you just have to 
I guess uninstall it and then reinstall it and just make sure you log in. Obviously, don't forget your email or anything like that. Um, but you can click like the manage subscription button. Your email will pop up, I'm pretty sure, and you can just use that to log in. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye.